Where are we at now? Okay, we're back with Kara. We're back with Kara. <laughs> I really don't want to play as Kara. This man is creepy. And I feel like he... We aren't going to have too fun of a time. He looks creepy. He just looks mad 24-7. And depressed. Oh, here we go. Could I have just stayed in the car? <laughs> Join Todd. You yeah, I'm right behind you. Oh yeah, I already know I'm not gonna like him. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You should not have a little girl. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you go upstairs. You should not have a little girl. You are not stable enough to have a I can't. You know, you could be a normal human, Todd, and do your own work. Clean up after your own self. Talking about it's a mess since you've been gone. Need you to come and help. Well, let me just be a... An Android. TV on? Oh, see, that's nice. That's, that's the kind of technology we need. Not the Androids, but like, lights on, and then it comes on. That's the kind of technology. Take, take, do what? What did it say? Take trash bin. Yeah. Was that a paper plate? I knew she didn't just throw a plate in the trash. That better been a paper plate. What you mean? Is he talking about drugs? He's a drug dealer. Todd's a drug dealer. Excuse me, Todd. Not the trash. So, this is what it's like to be a house bot, a house android. It'd be cool to be Connor. If I was an android, I'd want to be a detective android. That or just be like. I guess Android that played the piano all the time, because that's what I do. Just play the piano all the time. How do I change the? There we go. Hmm. Having a hard time with money, but you can pay for an eight thousand dollar Android to fix your problems. Oh my goodness. Let me scan. Bet. Dishwasher not working. With whose money? Uh, this is not good. This is not good. I don't, uh, 
This is so tense. I don't. They just had to add a little girl in the mix to make this like ten times more tense and like to make you feel bad and scared. Because one, it's one thing being an android that doesn't really have like feeling and stuff to be with like a guy like him, but like a little girl. She's watching us. Why is she scared? See, this is not good because he... And that's so weird, bro. He needs to stop that. That doesn't sound right at all. Kara. Yes, Todd? Bring me a cold beer. Right away. It's one of those. Tour. How about I don't do the work at all, Todd? What is it you're over here smoking? I'm sorry, Todd. It won't happen again. I'm about to I'm I'm about to have to become a deviant. Does this guy want a gun? Can we like go back and How do I go up the stairs? Jeez. Okay. I'm about to become a deviant. If this guy has a weapon, I'm taking it. And I'm using it if I can. Oh, I don't want to be in his bedroom. He's got a guitar. Ooh. There it is. All right, I'm gonna keep that in mind. You've unlocked a dialogue. Oh yeah. See, something's gonna go down. If they're telling me that that just opened a dialogue, something's gonna go down. <clears throat> what? What was that? What was that? Why did she look at it like that? And she had like a little yellow thing. It looked like it was just another Android paper. Like, Carl, I don't know about you, but if he's trying to get another Android, that's probably for the best. <laughs> Why did she... Oh well. Watch it. <sighs> now to clean the little girl's room. Don't run away. I just want to tidy up your room. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? It's his fault. He better not hurt this little girl. Are we gonna have to run? I don't like this. Seems you like reading. Did I say Alice in the Wonderland? <laughs> That's funny. I bet she was wishing those stories were true about her. Because she got this messed up dad.
it's okay. I'm gonna protect you. I'm sure <laughs> Factual and diplomatic. <laughs> This girl is hurt. What about your mother? <laughs> Will she be home soon? Ooh, no, you know she doesn't have a mother. You can guess that. What was that? What did she just hand us? A key? I'm just so scared. I know something's about to go down and I'm not ready for it. But you best believe I'm gonna take that gun and I'm gonna shoot him if I can. If that's an option, that's the one I'm choosing. That's not him. What? Maybe she just wants like a... <sighs> this is so messed up. He's, I'm shooting him, best believe, he's, I'm shooting him, that's happening, that's happening, let me go get the gun, please, 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 let me get it, please, please, You need to learn how to like pick up the pace because if we're gonna have to run, it's I don't like. Oh, no. Shut up. He is. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's one of them. Mm hmm. All of the above. No. You lay a hand on that little girl. Say it! You hate me! do more of that it's so bad I hate it I don't want to be car no more man now we're back to this dude he's got paint hopefully he has a better life than car Oh, looks like it. Whew. Yeah. Looks like a whole better life. Deposit package.
closet. Package collected. Okay. Take care of Carl. Looks like our owner's name is Carl. A bird. Fake birds. Turn on. They got Android birds. Are you serious? That's too far. Android birds. We got a big giraffe. Ooh, look at the piano. I can play it. Okay, you're an android and you're that trash at the piano. I don't even know who your name is yet. But you could do better than that. You're an android. Carl, wake up. Marcus, I keep like letting these things go past my head. So we're named Marcus. This is what it's like getting old, huh? Carl's a wise man. Well, honestly, if I'm being honest, well, yeah. If I was like getting really, really old and somebody had to take care of me and like shower me and stuff, I, I don't, I think it'd be, I think I'd rather have an android do that than an actual human. Because some people are just messed up in the mind. And the mind is just a terrible place. But like an android can't think about anything except what it's supposed to do. Take Carl to dining table. So he is an artist. A famous one apparently. No. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. <laughs> Who's Leo? See I like this. This is a calm atmosphere. like this <laughs> serve for breakfast got a nice kitchen got this whole house just for him all right how do I serve him breakfast where's it at okay
Thank you. Television. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Yeah? Okay, Carl. Can I play the piano again? <laughs> yeah, play it. I don't care about none of that other stuff. I'll play the piano. Oh yeah. So he's pushing. <laughs> wow. So Carl is pushing us to to be more soulful and like be more like a human and telling said that we're going to have to take care of ourselves. Which I think the whole point of like the idea of a deviant in this um, game is that like androids become a deviant when they have acted out in doing something that they weren't programmed to do. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheep. And so, like, with the deviant that got the gun, he was considered a deviant because he, it's not in his program to do something that he wasn't told to do. And, like, got the gun and killed the guy and obviously acted in violence. And that's not what he was programmed to do. So that makes him become a deviant. So, like, which is kind of weird because it also said that deviants weren't um, androids weren't supposed to have firearms or weren't supposed to have those and it's still Connor when I was playing as Connor I picked up the weapon but it said I wasn't supposed to but that somehow didn't make Connor a deviant so I'm really not sure but like so technically if Marcus like does become this kind of soulful human Technically, he becomes a deviant, 
even though he doesn't have to be a bad deviant. He's just not like he's doing stuff that he wasn't programmed to do, which doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing. It's just he is making his own choices. I just like music too. It can sound cool, but some of the simplest stuff that's played with like enough soul and enough purpose can be one of the like the greatest things. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? I think it's pretty good. I like it. Yeah, there is something about it. Mm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Mm. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Me? Okay, we're gonna paint. Paint? But would I painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. I know how you feel, Marcus. I deal with the same thing. People tell me to draw something. I'm like, well, tell me what to draw. And then they don't tell me anything. Like, I just, I'm terrible with, like, on the spot, figuring out, find a sub, find something to paint. Paint Carl's painting. Nah, we don't want to copy. Carl's pushing this to be, like, human, so I think the statue would be the most human thing I could draw, probably. That is a perfect copy. It was actually really good. Carl is very wise. Ah, you see, Marcus, but we're trying to get you out of the program. I like Carl. I like this this kind of story that it's giving of where this old man is like pretty much about to lose his life, and he wants to see humanity in the android. Let's close his eyes. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Hmm. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel. Ooh, you can see the little the where he's like going outside of his program. That's really cool. I like the I the idea of the changing color when they're thinking something they shouldn't be or something like that. Um. Let's go with identity. I feel like that's a good one. Identity and prisoner. Yeah. Because they're kind of like a prisoner within their own program. Which I was going to say mind, but I don't guess they have minds. They have programs. They have database. His light is going crazy. That's cool how they did that. Wow. Who's this? Oh, this is Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I <laughs> thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? 
What happened to the money I just gave you? <laughs> it's, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you are in again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear mm. it's not that. No, don't lie to me. Really. What difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. He better not hurt Carl, bro. This is the best dude. What? what? He's the you know most why. wisest, nice old yeah. man. Yeah, you do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's you got that I need? Smarter? More obedient? Not like me, right? You know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough! Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. Hmm. <laughs> never loved me. Never loved you. you. Say that because he won't give you money for drugs. I'm sorry about that, Carl. I'm glad that didn't turn you into anything bad, though. Dang. I hope it's okay that I'm, like, missing a bunch of stuff. Okay, we're gonna stop there. So far, this is great. This is such a bright screen. <laughs> so, yeah.